so this is another question on combined signal operations so here we have this uh, question this uh, signal given by yt is equal to minus 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 so again this is a combined signal operation and here it consists of many individual signal operations which this whole expression can be broken down into first uh, we know that uh, a unit step signal it looks something like this okay this is the unit step signal so here <coughs> the signal operations which are involved here first unit step signal has to be converted into the time shifted signal this this is time shifting then the time shifted signal has to be time reversed or time inversion this then we have to subject it to amplitude scaling scaling down this by 2 u minus t plus 2 okay amplitude scaling and this is scaling down and then we have to subject it to amplitude inversion that is 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 to uh, minus 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 this is amplitude inversion so this whole uh, process it has to go through these four individual signal operations so we'll go at it step by step so first we have to perform time shifting so we all know that uh, whenever uh, time shifting is performed okay any signal u t plus 2 it means the signal has to be shifted the plus sign it involves that the signal has to be shifted to the left by two units so this unit step signal it has to be shifted by two units to the left let's say here it is minus 2 here it is minus 1 here 0 here 1 here 2 so it will start from here this this is the time shifted signal then we have to perform time inversion okay time inversion so time inversion will do so what we have to do is to form a mirror image of this time shifted signal around the time axis so suppose we place a mirror along this y axis the mirror image which will obtain that is the time reverse signal or time inverted signal so it will look something like this so again like this here it is 1 here it is 2 this is 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is u minus t plus 2 so it will start from here like this and like this amplitude of 1 okay 1 so see this is the mirror image of it so time inversion done now this uh, amplitude scaling 
so amplitude scaling means it has to be scaled down by a factor 1 by 2 so we have to multiply the amplitude 1 with 1 by 2 so it will become 1 half okay so amplitude scaling scaling down so it will become like this nothing will change in the time axis only the amplitude will change so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 so this will become like this this will be 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 this is 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 then we have to do what amplitude inversion minus 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 ok so for that what we have to do here the mirror image will be formed around the x-axis suppose we place a mirror along the x-axis the time axis the mirror image which will be formed on the negative y-axis or the negative amplitude axis that is the mirror image which will get so that will be something like this so this is what uh, amplitude inversion so it will be like this uh, sorry this is a little bit wayward but it will be okay 1 this is 2 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 and here it will be negative amplitude that is uh, minus 0.5 so it will be like this okay like this this is minus 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 this this is the final amplitude inverted signal so see this whole operation yt is equal to minus 1 by 2 u minus t plus 2 it has to pass through these four individual steps to get the final resultant signal so when you will practice more and more these questions you can skip uh, one or two steps when you gain enough confidence in this when you practice more and more you can directly do the time shifting and time inversion in one step amplitude scaling and amplitude inversion in one step so it will be two steps so if you are a beginner you are getting started with signals and systems I would recommend you to please go through the individual steps first and then as you practice more and more questions you can skip or you can uh, do one or two steps at a time because at that time your uh, your mind will get acquainted with these things okay you can do one or two steps in one one step okay you can convert one or two or even three steps in one step you can do that but for that you need more and more practice so before that you go the uh, the lengthy way so that you uh, know what is going on here what are the individual op uh, operations that are performed okay 